I was reading about Snoopy's writing life, and there are several cartoons where you see Snoopy sitting on the, at the typewriter. And of course, he's not a successful writer. He's always getting um, rejection letters and preemptive rejection letters saying, you know, Snoopy, please don't send us any more of your work. But there are these passages where he's, you know, you see him sitting and writing, and he'll come up with some like horrible pun or something, and then he'll just lie back with delight and be like, it's such a wonderful feeling when you know you've written something really good. And I was looking at that, and I was thinking to myself, Deep in everyone, maybe deeper in some than in others, is that Snoopy sitting on the doghouse thinking it's a great feeling when you know you've written something good. Actual unmediated reality is sort of this, this data dump of information that we can't possibly process the way that it actually is because it's too much for us and we're limited and just our heads would explode. And the way that we process it is by telling ourselves stories and we impose them on reality and some truth gets lost between the imposition of the story and reality. One of the bigger challenges of, of being a writer is um, balancing between different kinds of writing and different assignments and uh, you know different modes of working and how much time you allot to each one of them. Um, it's the, the pace of books and magazines is very different and it can be um, kind of a, a challenge or a puzzle to figure out how to apportion resources. The constraints of, of publication and the demands of editors did cause me to end up writing many of the works that I imagined as fictional works as nonfiction. And that was both frustrating and inspiring, I think, in, in equal amounts. The, published version of The Idiot is, uh, it's really the most autobiographical parts of what I had written. And at the time that I was writing, uh, autofiction and nonfiction weren't as kind of literary and trendy as they are now. And I, I felt a kind of pressure to fictionalize more. And um, I went on some sort of um, just rabbit holes of inventing things, which became wilder and wilder and more and more unlikely. I'm interested in details and the absurd and the, the way that people are and the unexpected things that people say, which are you know, precisely the things that I feel like I can't invent that because they come from outside of myself in some way. Maybe I misheard and misremembered and I don't necessarily want to prosecute them factually and get to the bottom of the truth, but, um, but they are experiences that, that come from my own life everyone has a certain amount of false starts that they need to take um, and, and a certain amount of bad writing that they have to just get out of their system while they're learning to write. That's the only way to learn to write is to do it and you're not going to love every single thing. And also you're not going to know necessarily what's the thing that's going to be valuable and what's not. So I guess the main advice I would have is to be really easy on yourself or to, to shut off as much as you can the voice that's saying maybe you're wasting your time and maybe everything that you do is stupid. 